we will look at the source code of the nq function to add something uh, at the end of the list. Uh, the first thing that we do is to create a, a new node and increment this uh, serial number, so to speak. And then we come to this uh, uh, for loop, which we um, continue in until we have succeeded in adding our node. Okay, so the first thing that we do is to make a copy of uh, so these uh, um, are local variables that are not atomic, but we load and make a copy of this atomic uh, variable that points to the tail. Okay, and then uh, this, uh, I mean the last um, node in this list, it has a next pointer and we will load that next. Okay, and um, as we will see, we will add our new node if uh, this is a uh, node pointer. And this tail is still the last node in the list. Okay, so the first thing that we check is if somebody has moved the tail. That means if our um, copy of the tail is not uh, up to date. It could have been, I mean, somebody could have inserted it some, something when we were doing this or uh, experiencing a cache miss. Okay, so how do we check if they are equal? Since uh, this is a non-atomic variable and this is an atomic variable, um, we have to load the atomic variable and compare them bitwise. And that can be done uh, like this. So we have a, a pointer and an atomic pointer. And we load uh, what that one points to. And we do a mem compare. That means compare each bit or each byte. Uh, uh, the number of bytes, that's, I mean, the size of, of the variable. And if all are equal, this one uh, returns zero so they are equal if i mean this function should return true if they are equal i mean not only should but it does okay so and what does that mean it means that nobody has moved um a q tail okay but the, that is not the same thing as our next node is uh, equal to node because I mean, when we come here, somebody could um, I, I, um, I mean, when, when we were here, then we loaded the tail and then we loaded the next node. But as we saw in the previous uh, video, uh, it's not certain that this variable uh, actually points to the last node in the list. Okay, so then uh, what can we do then? Well, we try to move um, the tail, uh, I mean this variable, to our, um, I mean to the next that we found. So we move it one step forward. We try to do that and, and that is a good thing to do if um, the queue's tail is still equal to the tail that we read. Okay, because our next is the next node in the list. Okay, but let's assume uh, that uh, we actually read the last node in the list and then next node uh, is uh, null and now it's still not certain that we can add our, our node, but we try to do that. And uh, if the tail, uh, I mean our local copy, but it has a pointer to an atomic variable. And if that variable uh, is 
still equal to null which uh, uh, this variable is then we add our node to the end of the list uh, well I say that but I mean we try to do it because it's uh, not certain I mean some other thread could be in exactly the same situation and come before uh, okay, but if we succeed, then we also try to uh, move the tail to our next. And it's not certain that we succeed, but if we can, that's good. And if, um, okay, so what's interesting here is that if we succeeded in adding our node to the end of the really last node in the list, which is not certain, it's the same as the queue tail. Uh, then um, we are leaving this function even though we were unable to update q tape. Okay, and why? Well, somebody else may have already done it. So, but we leave it as we saw previously. Uh, uh, it's, it's fine to leave this list in a way that Q tail is not pointing to the last node. As long as, I mean, this could break down if it was not a real uh, linked list that was connected, but it is. They are all connected using the next pointers. Okay, so what we have done so far, we have uh, checked that we are still um, the last node and the next pointer is null. And then we try to add it. And, uh, well, in that case, we just succeeded in uh, adding a node here and then we uh, if this succeeded well that's the what the figure shows that it did succeed and uh, what we do then is to try to move the tail as well may work or may not Okay, so uh, let's, oh, okay, we can say that it worked. So we change this one to this one. And uh, in the other situation that um, our tail was equal to the real tail when we got this far, but somebody else has, um, I mean, what I, I, what I said, yeah, what I wanted to say is that our tail is equal to the variable tail, but not the last node in the list. In that case, the next node is uh, not null. And what we do is to try to move the tail, uh, Q tail, to the next variable that we just read. I mean, when that we read here. Okay, and if they are not equal, that means somebody has moved the tail in between we read it on this line and compared and then we cannot do very much so we just take a new iteration in the loop okay and then uh, we continue like this and this list will grow um very nicely and um, the list is uh, well in summary the the linked list is always always valid but the q tail is sometimes not pointing at the last node okay so let's uh, next look at uh, removing items from the queue